All right, hope everyone's doing good. Um, I got a video in over the weekend. Um, I wanted to, there was a couple things in the last video that maybe I should have mentioned in case you guys were wondering about this um, Aka Kappa brush. So before I shave, I'll just mention a few quick details, a little mini brush review. Um, so this um, base and um, handle for the wood is uh, Wenge wood. And um, so here you have Kappa. Um, and then here, I don't know that you guys will be able to see it too, Aka Kappa um, with the not all dried out. Maybe that'll pick up on some of the finer details of the hair. So again, it's, it's a natural, um, you know, or sometimes I, lately I've been saying genuine silver tip. And to me, that just means it's, it hasn't been treated to the point where it's going to gel tip. Um, I did pull this. Um, if this will pick up, this may look a little similar, but with this brush, this is a gel tip. The spikes tend to, see, it's not going to pick up quite as well on the video camera, but a lot of these tips, you can start to see the, the ends hook. Whereas with this, most naturally um, tapered ends on Badger, they're just gonna form kind of like a little spike, um, whereas a gel tip is gonna have um, a little more of those clumped, you know, the, the groupings together when they're wet look like a honeycomb, and then once they dry, they, they all kind of have their hook tips. Um, the other thing I was gonna mention is the way that this handle is cut. If I spin this handle, you guys can see how much that knot will move around. So I actually like um, kind of that aspect of this, that it kind of will help work the uh, lather in with whatever hair, I'm sorry, work the water into the lather um, a little bit more. So today I'm using the Vintage Plasson. This is only like, I think this is the third time I'm able to use this. Um, I have my calipers here. I wanted to show you guys, this is um, one of the smaller knots that I have now. So you have a horn handle, and if you guys didn't know, Plasson makes the top portion out of horn, and then they they screw this bottom piece, um, so it's two separate pieces of horn. Um, so that's kind of one of their things that they like to do. Okay, so the handle, um, I'm sorry, not the handle, the, the knot opening, the handle opening is, what the, maybe I'm losing some, uh, battery here. Give me a second, you guys. I think this is a 20, 21. What is going on here? The calipers aren't working. I'll put it in the description. If I remember, it's like a 20 or a 21 millimeter diameter, and then the loft is like 60 or 61. So, okay. So, I'm going to load up the Felce Aromatica. I figured if I'm going to switch out the brush. I'll just try and keep everything else in this shave more or less the same as the last one. This might be the last shave that I'll do with the BBS one for a little while. I'm just kind of not really, I don't know, not really wanting to use it all that much. So with these, um, Plisson brushes, you will find that they have a little bit of a um, kind of a standard. So you'll you'll see sometimes the reference of whether it's like a size six, maybe might be one of the smallest, but kind of their standard um, go-to size that a lot of people might find certain models would be a size 12. And that just refers to how big of a knot they make, and then how big of a loft, or how tall of a loft that type of size will, will be. You guys will actually see another plus on probably next month. One of my one of my shave buddies was getting rid of one and he offered it at a price that I felt like was too much of a deal to kind of pass up. So um, 
anyway, you guys will see with this taller loft, you can really keep the lather um, kind of produced at the tips. And then once you kind of feel it sticking a little bit, just go for a little bit of water. And just go a little bit with some circles. Can feel some of that water dripping out of the knot so we'll kind of let that there we go Lasagne is kind of interesting, you guys, because like the, the one that should be coming next month, I don't think it's anywhere close to being like a vintage like this would be. And see, so you guys, it's like right now the water from the base of this is running down the handle. So when I was kind of talking about synthetic brushes and just kind of feeling like the process of using them in a shave isn't quite as seamless this is kind of what i'm talking about as long as i feel that water kind of running out of the knot onto the handle i don't need to keep dipping the tips i can just keep working that same consistency until i feel like all the water has been worked into that lather on the face so See how it's running down? I'm just gonna dip a little bit more. This is probably gonna lather up quick. But yeah, the vintage plissons is it's more about kind of the hair that they had back then. I'm sure this year I'll kind of get a little bit more into researching again. I, I was doing a lot of kind of research on different things associated with shave brushes and different types of badger years and years ago, but I'm sure I could brush up on a lot of that, but even the more current plissons, um, I think it's, it's pretty well established that like in the shave community, the current badger brushes that you can get from plisson are, are going to be probably not worth the money that they're asking. But with that said, even though the, the most current Plisson brush that I had tried, I don't know how many years ago this was, let's say it was like five years ago, um, although I didn't love the quality of the hair and I didn't love the quality of the sorting, um, I still think that it was a very well-made knot um, as far as like the shaping, the construction, the size, it lathered very well. So it's just a different experience lathering with something that's not going to be all super soft and low lofted, overly dense. Um, there's going to be a good amount of you guys that if you were to try this, you'd say it's a floppy brush. And I think for those of you guys that don't find that backbone and density don't need to be kind of pushed to the extreme unless that's kind of like your need or your preference. I think a lot of you guys would say, wow, this, this type of knot really does lather nicely. And I think the amount of presence that the hair naturally has, you know, the resiliency, I think we're good right there. So I have the BBS one loaded up with the same timber blade. I think that this is the six shave on the timber blade. I think we'll go um, against the grain first pass like we did last time. I shave from the weekend. It was very, very comfortable.
just going real light. Only got a couple days beard growth. Hope you guys are all doing good. And working on some, making some pots. I think that Sometime soon, I'll be trying to get rid of some gear. I think that's another reason why, you know, I've kind of mentioned over time that this, my so-called shave channel is, is not really going to be about a bunch of new products or promoting a bunch of new artisans or anything. And not that there's anything wrong with that, but I just, I kind of have the stuff that, I found I like, and I'm just a little more slow to incorporate some new stuff unless I feel like I'm kind of missing out on something or if I'm really, really wanting to incorporate something new. I guess I'm a little more, uh, lenient in some ways, I guess, because with badger brushes, I, I am pretty particular and kind of know what I like. And if I don't like a, a brush, I'm, I'm pretty quick to make a decision on whether I'll keep it or not. But um, yeah, I think there's quite a few brushes I'm gonna, I'm gonna get rid of. Sell some hardware. I'm gonna need to buy some. I'm gonna need to do a pretty large order of some clay and some materials to make some glazes. So I'm gonna need to. Uh... For me, there's just like I, more so with razors. I'd rather not have a bunch of money all tied up in hardware that I'm more or less not going to use. All right. Excuse me, you guys. I'm going to just take the uh, BBS one apart and then we'll throw the timber blade in the carbon minus base plate. And then is that the minus base plate? Yep. Okay. I'll just go one more time with this aluminum handle. So okay, let's rinse. Yeah, like I said, you guys, for many years I did the BBS one. You know, at certain points I was kind of going for a one pass shave just against the grain. You know, then I had kind of gone. I guess that first razor that I was using as like a follow up pass, kind of like I'm doing now with the carbon, would have been the MJ90 from Razor Rock. You know, very, very mild. I think uh, Edwin Jagger. Um, and then I would normally use like a Kai in that just because it was such a small blade gap. And 
and um, so let's just pull this pull this out a little bit. I've been really digging using this Felce Aromatica. But I'll just do a little bit of a break from the SV for a few shades here and there this month. Our weather's been really, really cold, so. Or I shouldn't say really cold, but. Last day or so, it's it's been pretty chilly. So, okay, so timmer, um, carbon minus base plate. JB was asking, maybe why I find. my two favorite carbon razors to be the plus plus and the minus. And I had told him later in that same day that I shaved in the last video, I had mentioned to him, I think that the shave is, is not uh, nearly as close or long lasting using this minus base plate, but it's so gentle on the, on the skin and it still has some efficiency. Whereas the plus plus has for me a little bit more of the ability to take off just about everything that I have and maybe a little bit of skin if I if I choose to kind of press a little hard or maybe go over it a few extra times. So I was actually kind of thinking today. I wonder what it would be like to revisit the plus plate. But I definitely like this minus base plate more than the original 6.8 base plate. Shaves with the carbon are just so cruising. Just real easy, they're fun, very intuitive. So again, you guys use use what what you want. Use what works well. Whether it's a lower tier price range razor, mid tier if it's expensive, it's a, if it's un, unobtainium, use what you want. Christopher, or I can't remember if it was IMCDB or if it was JB, but in that last shave, I just kind of made mention of um, kind of my thoughts on maybe straight razors being a little bit more um, maybe that they are better, better in some ways or that they offer. I guess to clarify. If someone has spent some time experimenting with double edge razors and spent some time experimenting with straight razors, and maybe they've been able to find a straight razor that um, is is honed, you know, to suit their beard and their skin, um, I guess I'm more in line to think that that's going to be more gentle on the skin and uh, you know more more ability to cut on the beard versus a double edge. Um, and again, there's some of you guys that, that may, you know, strongly disagree with that experience. And so I can't, I can't sit there and tell you that you're wrong. I just think that although I have a preference for DE, I think that with, with the most optimum DE and the most optimum straight razor for each individual person, 
I'm under the belief that the straight razor edge um, will, will be more gentle on the skin. I mean, trust me, I've, I've had some shaves with some razors that were not honed well, or they were honed well, but just maybe not keen enough for, for my beard. And they're, they're not fun shaves. So I'm just, I'm kind of, like I said, speaking on a more optimum level, you know, how stuff, in my opinion, should work. So, all right. This shave isn't really that much different than my Saturday shave. Um, like I said, SV has made it really easy for me to just pour the water on, pour the water off, load enough, and then just hydrate well. I'm just, I, I really don't have to think too much about using SV. Um, I guess I can mention this kind of quick. So I will use Mike's and Mystic Water, um, as well as Haslinger, um, you know, sometime soon. Um, one of those will likely be in the next shave. I was watching or reading some guy's post on one of the forums that said that, uh, you know, some of the long, long time soap makers, he's, he's really liked and he prefers using them and his experience with them is that they're, they're very easy to use as far as lathering. And so I think the three that he had mentioned were Shannon's, which I haven't tried. I have a feeling that I would probably like it. And then he mentioned Mike's and Mystic Water. And as much as I love Mystic Water soap, um, I really do like their, their shave soap. Um, in, my, in my experience over the years, the Mystic Water works great when you can get it to work. Um, Mike's though, it's one of those times where it's like, I remember for years, different people, and, and it really wasn't as common, but people would say, I can't get mics to lather. Um, what's everyone else's trick? And whether I use distilled water, if I didn't bloom it, if I did bloom, if I use tap water, mics was never an issue. So, you know, again, part of the, part of the point in sharing what I would think about a certain product is, is never meant to say, this is what you should use, this is good, or this is bad. Um, I always want to try to tell you guys why I think something is good. So if I had to tell you guys like what I recommend Mystic Water or Mike's, um, I'd probably recommend Mike's. Um, and that's just because in my experience, there's no issues. There's, there's no certain technique that you have to use to get the, the lather right. I just always made sure when I used Mike's, for the most part, I'd bloom it and, and I'd be okay. Um, I did find it to be a pretty thirsty soap. Mystic Water is just, it's a softer type of soap. Um, you really have to be slow with how you incorporate the water during the loading. Um, you know, there's a, what's, what's his name from the Shave Cadre? Um, Handlebar Dave, he does uh, YouTube videos. He was doing like a spotlight video on Mystic Water. He's someone that doesn't have any issues over the years using Mystic Water. So. Although I know how great Mystic Water can be, and I've had those results, the results are not consistent enough for me to be able to recommend it um, over a lot of the other soaps that I like. So um, hopefully that's something that is kind of helpful to you guys. Um, I always think that that's something important to kind of, you know, so to speak, preach, is do what you can to help yourself get more consistent results and it's just kind of maybe eliminating some of the variables, um, you know, from always changing. So that's why it's been nice to kind of stick with the BBS one for a little bit, um, test the Timmer blade out. Um, you know, these shaves have been really good. Um, actually don't have my aftershave on me right now, but I'm going to use the, the SV Mirto de Sardinia again. Um, I've really been enjoying using this. Um, the Fougere Aromatique. Might as well just put on a little bit more. This is really, really nice smelling stuff. Um, I'm probably going to do an order with Barrister and Man very soon. He's been doing a lot of body soaps. I have yet to try any of Will's body soaps, so I'm anxious to kind of see how some of those smell. So, 
anyway, you guys will see some some new gear lately or in the next shaves. It's probably just going to be a mixture of some of the shave soaps. Um, if you guys have any questions on the Plasson, um, let me know. We'll uh, just plot this lather real quick. I think I pretty much nailed the the hydration of this. You guys, if you're using big brushes, um, to me, what a a big brush is, is more on like the 28 millimeter knots to like maybe something that's like 30, 32. Sometimes a 26 millimeter brush, if it's really dense, you may find has um, a little bit of a difficult, um, it's difficult to get consistent results. So I think that there's been a lot of people in the, the shave community, and, and I don't mean this is a bad thing. I just think that for many years, the bigger brushes, for some reason, hold on a second. The bigger brushes tend to, for some amount of time, they got more notoriety. Um, whereas I just have slowly over the last couple of years started to see more and more people say, yeah, those bigger brushes is as much as they may, I don't know, seem more intuitive in some ways to use. I think that there's been a lot of people I've noticed revert back to saying, these smaller brushes, they, they may not seem as luxurious, but a 20, a 22, a 24 millimeter brush, you can get very, very good lather. Um, the time that you can spend um, lathering with those, I just think that the, the process is a little bit more intuitive, so. Again, if you guys have a lot of these, you know, more American um, artisan brushes that, you know, maybe they're tying the knots or they're bringing in a knot from a supplier. If you're wanting something that you think is going to lather a little easier and give you maybe just more control over the density, try something that's like a 22 or a 24 millimeter. Um, it's it's. I think maybe that's why I tend to face lather a little bit longer. As you guys will see, I do get a really thick coat of lather, but I also very rarely ever have to go back to the puck. And so I think that I'm usually generating three passes worth of lather on that initial face lathering. So, you know, I know, like I was watching another one of Anthony Esposito's videos, and he he's real funny. He's like quick to get that lather and he's like I don't have time to you know fiddle with suds and I get it but I think that's when I was watching I was saying to myself I tend to lather and, and get that you know consistency um, in that first four minutes and I'm pretty much good to go after that so um, I don't know I'd be kind of interested on maybe how long do you guys usually face lather um, quite a few of you guys that I'm you know, chit-chatting with either in the comments or through private message. You guys aren't, you know, video people, which is totally fine. So I'm just curious to hear what some of you guys usually prefer as far as how long you face lather for. So I just threw in a little bit of cocum butter. Um, I think it's going to be a good day today. I'm hoping, hoping this week it will be a little bit easier. It's kind of a tough week last week, but... Um, keeping the faith. Hopefully you guys are doing good. Um, anyway, I'm going to jam out and I'll see you guys soon for another shave. Um, if you get another shave in sometime soon, I hope it goes well. Hope you're enjoying yourself. So we'll catch up sometime soon. You guys take care.